Thank you. Very good evening. The room is half empty now. Everybody, I think, is tired, left. I'll keep the sessions very short. And uh, it was very interesting how the entire symposium went today. We learned from the diagnosis to the prevalence of GDM, how we should take care, the nutritional guidelines and coming to the end of it, what do we do after delivery, <laughs> right? So it's very important to make sure the mothers are also taken care of after delivery. I hope all of you agree with that. At the outset, before I start my talk, I would really like to thank the entire team of PSJ, especially Dr. Ruthul sir, for the invite. So, we all know, we saw from throughout that the day, all the sessions, that the main important thing is all the nutritional from the mother is going to the baby. So, that is from day one pre-pregnancy, the fetal supply depends on what is the nutritional status pre-pregnancy also, not during just pregnancy, but six months or one year prior to that. What are the challenges that we face during GDM? So what are the problems that might the patient occur? We saw that if uh, sugars are not managed well, patients would develop uh, your gestational women might develop diabetes later. 50% studies represent that it's a variable chance, but variable percentage, but anywhere in between 30 to 50% of all gestational women develop diabetes within six months. There, there is also increased risk of obesity in your offsprings. There is also risk of obesity, increasing the chances of diabetes if the women stay obese after pregnancy also. So weight loss is all what we know is the key for sure, but we'll be talking it in a twisty way today. And insulin resistant, we, you all would agree with me that 90% of the Indian population is insulin resistant. I hope everybody in the room knows what is insulin resistant, especially talking about dietitians. Can we have raised hands? Who doesn't know what is insulin resistant? Can I have a raised hand? I would like to explain. Everybody knows. Okay. So, so what would be the MNT when it comes to maintaining the further lactating women? What would be focusing on? Definitely maintaining the blood sugars. If I'm talking about lactating women who are with G, who are prevailed with diabetes, so definitely we have to maintain their blood sugars. Why we should encourage breastfeeding in mothers? Nowadays, majority of the women are shifting to formula feeds very, very soon. They are shifting within a month or two months time we've seen in the Indian scenario. Many of them are moving towards formula feeds or uh, taking help of other feeding methods also like pump feeds and not giving naturally the feedings to their, but giving the job itself of breastfeeding is a six hour, seven hour job in a day, which requires so much of energy. So it's proven that breastfeeding helps in weight loss. So women who are coming to you with obesity and prior GDM, definitely weight loss is going to help during lactation phase. Third goal which should be kept in mind during lactation should be, of course, maintaining a disciplined diet. I cannot have the previous speakers just said that, you know, moderation is the key. Everything is important. Uh, our speakers also said that a low carbohydrate diet from shifting from suji to millets, etc. We all dietitians know that. So is that discipline just limited to only GDM patients? No, 90% of the Indian population. And the third and most important, maintain natural nutritional status with macronutrients. So to replenish the store, also maintain the nutritional patterns that your women with GDM do not develop diabetes. Well, if there is a chance that the diabetes, the GDM, the sugar levels are maintained post delivery, we do not want patients to have developed diabetes later. So these five goals should be kept in mind during lactation. There's a beautiful study I would like to highlight here. Is this is pointer working? 
किस पे नहीं चलेगा तो फिर कैसे चलेगा देखने के लिए सोचने के लिए सो ठीक है सो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन आई एम आई लाउड इन यस इट्स अ वेरी नाइस रैंडम विद रैंडमली आर इंक्लूडिंग सिस्टमेटिक रिव्यू ऑफ ऑल रैंडमाइज कंट्रोल ट्रायल्स so which were conducted so this was this paper was published in 2023 very very recent publication in this year itself which compared and it claims to be one of the best papers which has compared all gdm women 5000 patients were uh, reviewed using all different rcts which the three models all previous speakers also spoke about most important lifestyle <coughs> diet as well as exercise right when we talk about lifestyle there were the rcts there were eight rcts which compared what additional foods we can add on for improving the outcomes to which helps in reducing the sugars and also hum bolte hai galactogogs add karne hai right methi add karna i am coming to that so what are the lactating foods which we usually guide uh, dr shefali also mentioned right now that ये खिला दो वो खिला दो सो देर आर सो मेनी नोशन सो दीज फूड ग्रुप्स विच वी टॉक प्रोबायोटिक्स जिंजर फिश ऑयल जिंक वाइटमिन ऑल वर कम्पेयर इन एट आर सिटीज इट रियली शोड फास्टिंग लेवल्स टू इम्प्रूव द होमा आई आर ऑल्सो इम्प्रूव बट देर आर नो चेंजेस इन द पोस्ट ब्रांडियल ब्लड शुगर दिस वर ओनली फाइव थाउजेंड जी डी एम पेशेंट ओनली जी डी एम मदर्स then we had one arm of rcts five rcts were compared where different types of en- uh, exercise were encouraged and outcomes were compared okay. so exercises like brisk walk resistance exercises different types of moderate intensity exercises all were compared again we see that the fasting sugars improved but there was no changes in the postprandial blood sugar as we all know that 2 ghante baad ka sugar to khane pe hi depend karta hai so i hope you all are following with me and the third were comparing diet as an arm in all 5000 patients and different 10 studies were compared so different types of complex carbohydrate we know that we try low carbohydrate diets we try with energy restricted diet dash diets everything was compared but surprisingly the fasting sugars did not show any significant improvement so when we compare all three arms and the conclusion of this study this review and meta analysis showed that in fact adding healthy food groups and what we say is our super foods in an early gestation phase is much better kyunki pregnancy mein kitna badal loge gdm mein bhi kitna badal loge like dr rucha also said other doctors said that there are hormonal disturbances your mother are going to crave everything right so those cravings and those cannot be controlled you have to maintain the nutritional status even during lactation we all know that at least 500 600 calories have to be given pump up so the pre pregnancy nutritional status by adding super foods is much more important sugars we can control of course we by we by giving them a uh, healthy diet foods <coughs> explaining them all of this encouraging exercise so it's a holistic approach for sure all three of them are going to work equally but we also should uh, natural macronutrients should be added for sure so if generally we talk about the guidelines again breastfeeding is recommended right we do not want to encourage rapid weight loss after pregnancy so i'm talking about mota crowd matlab mote women right so the women who are coming to you with gestational diabetes or the women who are coming to you with obesity but the diabetes being remission after or remission is not the right word but i would say the sugar levels seem normal after delivery but they are obese women so in that case you would not encourage rapid weight loss you would still have to go low so according to the international guidelines of gestational society 0.5 kg of weight loss per week is still encouraged right blood glucose have to be taken care of of course in case of type 1 diabetics who are coming to you for uh, management of sugar during lactation make sure the tests are done very very frequently we all know the gypsy guidelines or dipsy guidelines 
the sugar levels all speakers have spoken out that i'm not going to go there these are just general guidelines for lactation so i just tried to include that also we know high calorie plus 600 calories are given in the first trimester we do not increase protein intake has to be given more uh i came to this slide again very old age thing now you all would agree with me right you would encourage weight loss maybe a yes or a no for your patients who are having an existing gdm and come to you for lactation management you would not want them to get diabetic right or you would allow the lactating mothers to eat everything jitne mote ho raho we will manage the sugars diabetes educators in the room should definitely would understand more and you should encourage that that you are encouraging weight loss and which is not rapid but definitely gradual because you do not want the diabetes to prevail so yes there have been many studies and all studies prove that a 30 to 33% of calorie that is around 500 uh, kcal deficit would not be a problem this is the same slide as punam i'm showed all dietitian show right very common it's very important for us to know which diet will work when i talk about lactation or specifically nutrition in gdm women all kinds of diet work differently mediterranean vegetarian but when i talk about gdm or post gdm what is to be taken care of i want a1c reduction right and i want weight loss of it i want both of them because i don't want the diabetes to prevail so of course your low carb diets work the most it's not we have to go for very low carbohydrate diets in gdm women for sure right blood pressure reduction also has been seen in low carb diets it's been proven with all the trials the biggest diabetic trial we all know the luka head trial remission also shows when we practice a moderate <coughs> carbohydrate intake so anywhere between 150 to 170 grams of carbs is what we can practice and encourage our patients to do that sometimes we also are not able to plan because during lactation again uh the energy intake is too much the demand is too much we have to smartly teach our patients again standardization what is carb counting right and plan accordingly so only one thing we have to give them better choices right uh we have to make sure that the planning is done revolved around everybody in the house not just the mother everybody in the house can and complex carbohydrates are encouraged This was another a very interesting study which did a qualitative analysis on 30 patients who after pregnancy I'll be good. I have two minutes, sir. Huh? Oh. Okay. So they were asked about the different perceptions during lactation, and this was done in Sri Lanka. Very interestingly, again all qualitative. So you got answers from all mothers saying that we are not taken, we are not given the right amount of care. we are not given in enough intention uh, attention it is also that more of the traditional foods are encouraged more than a variety so you would all agree with me that still mothers have that notions that they want to give that traditional food only and they would not come to better exotic vegetables that is better to spend on and would be more antioxidant rich if we have those super foods available we should add them to like just गोंद के लड्डू जरूरी नहीं है वुड यू अग्री या सो दीज आर दैलेक्टो सुपर फूड और द गैलेक्टो बॉक्स विच आर बीन प्रोवन विद स्टडीज दैट रियली हेल्प इन बेटर आउटकम्स मिल्क सिक्रीशन सो फेनल सीड्स फॉर श्योर फेनोक्रीक स्टार एनीस क्यूमिन इसमें कुछ भी मीठा नहीं है फिर भी सब मीठा ही देते हैं क्यों पता है राइट सो should we swap to a better one like good jeera khane ki jagah sirf jeera water chalega methi ke laddu ki jagah sirf sprouted methi seeds subah chalenge parathe ghee ki bhakri ki jagah sirf ghehu ki roti de do suit pipri mon laddu this is gujarati which i recently my mother in law ate told me to tane khao ch pad se tu plan kar me ki to na hu nahi khao so we can have those herb supplements or we can have other direct consumption making tablets and gulping it down i'm not saying it's bad we have to have it but there are other superfoods that we need to add for sure which 
our families would they would tell us sit in the room right families do you will agree right lactating women have to sit in a room they are not asked to eat out in the restaurants is that true anybody in any traditional families many many families have that notions aren't you encouraging sedentary lifestyle it is na agar ek ded mahine ke japa period mein if you are sitting in the room you do not want any infections but within the house if the lady moves the sugar levels can be balanced better after meals we should always encourage 10 to 15 minutes of slow walking is what we should give our patients and encourage our patients so this was another nih study my last concluding slide i won't take much time that a a review was done again and a food frequency of naturally foods which women try to avoid themselves which was just asked with a uh, food frequency and majority of the women avoided caffeine spicy food because it creates nausea so we know all of that sikhie is a traditional korean sweet rice which was also avoided raw foods all of this causes nausea but i would also like to add in the list with uh neeti ma'am also just mentioned is that restricting the refined foods is more important do you want to just restrict this or restricting this is better right restricting added sugars restrict heavy snack and the notions which i just mentioned which will make your women more sedentary so from switch to this and add this also at the last please do not fail to follow up with your clients maybe as diabetes educators as dietitians women would come to you with gdm with uncontrolled sugars but post delivery also it's very very important because we are leaving them for complications to come later in life and that's what what we practice and have learned thank you